Welcome to today's lesson. It's all about telling time. Two o'clock, half past four, six thirty, quarter to nine, twenty one hundred, noon. What? I'm Arnell from Arnell's Everyday English, and today you will become super confident. In telling time in English. Here I have a clock. Remember, this is a clock, and this is a watch. Remember, there's a difference. What time is it? It's one o'clock. What time is it? It's two o'clock. What time is it? It's three o'clock. What time is it? It's four o'clock. You get the idea. In English, when we speak about the time, we always say it is. Contracted, it's. It's five o'clock. It's six o'clock. It's seven o'clock. It's twelve o'clock. If you need to be very specific, we can say a.m. and p.m. But normally, when you're speaking, it's obvious. Okay, Arnell, I need you here tomorrow at six. Six. Perfect. See you tomorrow. Six a.m. A.m. Twelve o'clock. It's time for lunch. Maybe not in your country, but in the USA and in the UK, twelve o'clock is lunch time. We can also say noon. Twelve o'clock in the afternoon is noon. I'll see you tomorrow at noon. Time is it? Twelve o'clock. It's midnight. I went to bed at midnight. Let's get more specific. We have a very simple way. There's also a more confusing way, but actually, this is very easy. Let's go through both step by step. I have my clock. I'm going to use a digital clock here. Now it's one o five. We pronounce the zero o. Now it's one ten. Now it's one fifteen. It's one twenty. It's one forty five. You can always read the time from left to right. With every time, it's eight twenty. It's seven thirty. It's four twenty-two. It's ten ten. It's three fifty-five. But of course, there's another way. Let's take a look. I have my clock. This part is past. This part. Is two. Now let's have the hour hand at one. It's five past one. Ten past one. It's quarter past one. Fifteen is always quarter past. It's twenty past one. It's twenty-five past one. It's half past one. Thirty is always half past. Let's continue. It's twenty-five to two. It's twenty to two. It's quarter to two. Forty-five 
is always quarter two. It's ten two two. It's five two two. Now it's two. Always remember quarter past, half past, quarter two. Now it's two twenty eight. Is it really necessary to be so specific? Usually, no. It's around two thirty. It's around half past two. Whenever we're telling time, you can always use around to give a general period. I'll see you tomorrow around nine. This could mean ten to nine. This could mean ten past nine. Around nine. At. Of course, when we tell the time, we say it is. Now it is two. Now it is four. But we use at when we want to say when an activity starts or ends. My English lesson starts at nine in the morning. It finishes at eleven in the morning. Many of our phones, computers, schedules, etc., use the twenty-four hour clock. But in English, for example, we would only say three o'clock. We wouldn't say fifteen o'clock, sixteen o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock. That's normal. Really, only in a military type situation would you read out the numbers: twenty-one hundred, oh one hundred. What time is it? Do you have the time? These are two different ways to ask for the time. We do not say, "How late is it, Arnell? How late is it?" You have been fantastic. In the comments below, tell me what time it is. I want to know when you watched this video. Please subscribe. And I'll see you very soon for another video.